Imagine this. Your client just asked you for an animation. In your head, you've already calculated the cost. Days of rendering, hours of setup, and weeks before delivery. But in 2025, we've got powerful AI tools that flip this upside down. I actually used them in my own project, and today I'll show you real examples of how I turn static renders into cinematic animations in just a few clicks. I've tested every major tool – Clink AI, Leonardo AI, Midjourney, Google Flow with Vio Free, Luma Labs, Runway, and Project Dream from Pulse. I'll break down the pricing of each one, their strengths and weaknesses, and give you my honest verdict. Basically, I reviewed the best tools available right now for architectural visualization. Watch through, compare the results with me, and let me know in the comments which one you think works the best. Let's start. I've also prepared a real examples from my client's project. Part of those videos were created using AI, and I'll show you exactly how. So make sure you watch until the end, because I'll reveal my secret tools for animations look realistic, which tool works best for character animations, and which one gives you the best results for the price. On top of that, I'll share the prompts I use, how to apply negative prompts effectively, and I'll compare the exact same video fragments across all tools, so you can clearly see which AI works best for architectural animation. First, let's start with Crea AI. For this test, I'll be using Basic Plan, which costs $10 per month. I wanted to keep it fair and realistic, so no expensive upgrades, just the standard plan that most of you would probably start with. Let's test it on one of my real client's projects and use the exact same prompts as I'll use for all of the other tools. In Crea, the simpler the prompt, the better the results. Complex instructions usually break things, but something basic like a slow camera move works pretty fine. For Arquis, I normally stick to this exact universal prompt. Very slow and smooth camera pushes forward. Let's upload our render as a start frame. That's usually enough to make a render feel cinematic and avoid glitches. So let's see how many generations we can actually squeeze out of the basic plan and whether it's worth it compared to the other tools. Let's click Generate. It's actually a universal hub. You can test multiple models in one place. I start with one 2.1. This model led to a glitch. Let's try another one. Now, when 2.2 results looks pretty fake. Let's try another one. Now, after 5 minutes, the result looks better, but fire didn't move. So let's try another model until we get great results. Let's turn the audio off, select HD resolution, click generate. Now, we are free generation looks pretty normal, but after only 5 generation, our plan is almost over. So as you can see, Korea is only suitable for quick testing, but not for commercial use. Here's the pros. It's pretty cheap, and you can test different models, but cons? You can't generate a lot of test renders to get quality results, and after 5 generation, we almost finished our plan. So for Korea, my rating is 2 out of 10. Let's take a look at Leonardo AI. For this test, I purchased the plan for $12 a month. I wanted to see what kind of results we can actually get at this price point without going into higher tiers. Let's upload our start frame, let's paste our prompt and click generate. At this tier you've got 8000 points and one generation costs around 300 points. Now let's wait. And after one minute 
and using standard settings, we received this result. And I think it doesn't look realistic, but we got this pretty sunlight effect. There's also different models in Leonardo. We can also choose VO3, but it actually costs around 2,500 points, same as via Korea AI. Let's generate another videos, click number of videos 4 and click generate. And in these four variations, I didn't see the effects I wanted and the videos look very artificial. So for Arcus animation, I would rate this AI 2 out of 10 because I didn't get the desired result. Next, let's move on to Midjourney. They started added an animate feature, which lets you create 5 seconds videos. I got the monthly plan for $10. The big advantage here is that you can generate pretty much unlimited images and videos inside the subscription, which already makes it a really strong value compared to others. So let's test it on our project. We go to Create tab. Click Add Images, upload our render, choose Starting Frame Mode and it will generate your video. Click Paste our prompt and click Generate. Now let's see what Midjourney does with it. Here's the result. I can see that our images were generated a little bit in low quality, which affects the fire effect and, and strange water glitch right here. The generation looks a little bit fake. Let's take a look at another shot. Fire is still. Here it looks more like lava. And same result right here. It's pretty strange and didn't match my expectations. So let's try another generation. Upload our image and click generate again. And here's the better result, but because of the strange camera move with focus on water and a little bit crispy image, it still looks artificial. Here we also got feature which allows us to control motion even more. Let's try this option right here, auto low motion. And the final result. Well, from the first side it looks pretty good, but I think it's not commercial. It doesn't look realistic and our clients will say that it actually looks like AI. So I will trade Midjourney 4 out of 10 for an unlimited numbers of generations. And I think that if you use a more detailed prompt, you can get better results. But I stick to the original prompt. Let's move to our next tool, LumaLab's Dream Machine. The pricing is similar to others around $10 per month. So let's see what kind of results we can get on our project. Select ideas, upload our start frame, paste our prompt. Here I would like to select camera movement. The cool feature here is that you can select camera movement. In our case, it will be zoom in. Here we can choose keyframe parameters. I would like to use HD quality and ray to engine. Click generate. In this plan, you've got around 4,200 points. So let's take a look how much does it cost to generate our video. In the settings, you will view how much credits you already used. And I can see that one HD generation cost us around 170 points. So you can generate around 25 videos. Here's our results. Looks pretty strange. So let's tweak some settings. Upload our start frame in camera now select push in effects and same settings on keyframe. Click generate. Our second generation looks much better, but there's still strange effects on water. Now let's try our last generation. Click upload and right here on our preview, I can see that this is actually not the result that I wanted. But let's wait for the final video. Well, that's not what I wanted. And here I can say that the result is already slightly better, but it still doesn't look commercial. So I'll rate them 5 out of 10 for the ability to control the camera. We are already getting closer to the finalists and now it's time to look at Google Flow with Vio Free. The subscription here costs around $20, but you can try your first month for free. That's a bit higher than the other tools, but it actually gives you enough generations to create a solid amount of animations for real client work. Click create with flow. 
flow, create new projects and don't be surprised, I'm using Ukrainian language mode. So let's choose video from photos, upload our render, paste our prompt, choose video free quality, better audio. Video free can generate up to 8 seconds clips with audio baked in, which is pretty cool. You don't need to add sounds separately. Let's hit generate and see how it handles our project. We generated this video and the water looking a little artificial. Let's try a few more iterations. Here you can see that each generation uses 100 credits based on your current settings, but with video free fast each generation uses 20 credits which is more affordable let's take a look at our generation still looks like it was generated with an ai now let's try weird free fast we generated this animation in fast mode camera moves on the wrong direction i didn't really like the result let's take our first generation and here if you want to download it you can upscale it to hd quality the image is very sharp and water looks generated so i'll give our we are free 5 out of 10 because it's more expensive than runway and generates lower quality animations by the way here's the results i've got from the first generation for my client's project i'll show you how i enhanced this animation that i use in my client's project let's test clink ai which is actually one of my personal personal favorites because it consistently delivers solid results for architectural visualization. Let's start with the price. For $9 per month you get around 660 credits. One video generation costs about 35 credits, which means you get 18 videos on the standard plan. Not bad at all for professional level results. Now let's load our test project, click to video, drop our render, paste our prompt and also I will include right here negative prompt for better results. I choose professional mode, it will cost you around 35 points and click generate. The generation is ready, it's already in HD quality, let's take a look. But the audio quality doesn't match the animation, so let's try a few more times because our fire stays on its place, but overall image looks pretty clean. In our second generation we got better water effect, but our fire looks the same. Let's try video 2.1 master mode and click generate. Here's our animation. We already got better fireplace and our water animated with clean image. Actually, I think this is one of the best results and our audio is generated pretty accurate. If you want to download your video without watermark, click right here without watermark and click download. So Clink did the good job and produced really high quality results. In fact, I did the entire projects for, for the client in it and it gives pretty good results. I rate it 9 out of 10 for quality and price. Now let's look at Project Dream from Pose. With it you can not only enhance your images but also generate videos using different AI models. You can upscale them, change moods and tweak lighting, all without leaving the platform. They offer a light plan for $10 or the medium plan, which I'm currently using. Normally it costs around $30, but with my referral link you get 20% off, so it comes to just $20 per month and that discount works for 3 months, so it's an exclusive bonus if you want to try it out. And just to be clear, the video isn't sponsored. I just ask them for a referral link so you can get 20% off. Now let's generate our animation. Click animate image. Right here in our models I selected Clink 2.1 master which will cost around 90 points. I upload our image, paste our prompt. From the first iteration I already got our pretty realistic result. Just take a look at it. We've got animated fireplace and waterfall with water effect which looks pretty cool. With medium plan you've got around 
2500 points so you can generate around 30 videos and another great feature of project dream is that in one click you can simply upscale your video to 4k quality here you can select topaz labs video ai model and upscale ratio on two times click dream and for only 88 points you can upscale your video and here's our generated animation it looks commercial and ready for clients project so from my experience since i use project dream in my projects every day i would rate it 10 out of 10 for its larger number of points and generations it is an ultimate product that gives us instant commercial results so i hope your clients will be satisfied with their animations and now my secret tool this is the software i use to upscale all my ai generated animations the license costs around 300 dollars which sounds expensive but if you're delivering commercial animations to clients it pays for itself very quickly here's how i use it i upload my generated animation from project dream in output select two times upscale 24 fps as the original animation video type progressive ai model proteus auto and let's click export and after 20 seconds we got our animation upscaled it's clean sharp and ready for client delivery one more tip if you want to animate people you've probably noticed that the most of these ai tools aren't great for character animation that's why i created a separate video on how i animate people inside my project you can watch it here i'll add a video card ai in arquis evolving so fast that even i can barely keep up with the daily updates my personal winners are Kling ai and project dream if you want to try it there's a referral link in the description with an exclusive 20 percent discount nobody else offers this right now i put a lot of time and money into testing these tools and making the video i hope they will not only inspire you but also land more clients and earn more for your work my advice experiment start free see what matches your style and vision combine these tools and remember ai won't replace your creativity but it will put it on your screen 100 times faster Thanks for watching, keep creating, keep loving Arquis and I'll see you in the next video.